And that's when I really lost it. I was like, this country is knackered. All that's happened today is the weather has been nice enough that you haven't been driven indoors. That's all that's happened. And if I'd been outdoors, I'd be as pissed as everyone else, right? I'm no better. <laughs> Come down with us, John. It floats. Um, <laughs> Well, the problem is, I think it's funny enough for me, I, I sort of live here, I knew the signs, right? But somewhere on this train is a nice little Spanish family. Do you know what I mean? A nice little Spanish family have come to London on their summer holidays and they've been looking forward to this all year. They probably booked the tickets at Christmas and gave them to the kids as Christmas presents. They go, here you go, Javier, here is your Christmas present. <laughs> Just get it out of your system because it ain't getting any better. <laughs> Perfectly serviceable Spanish accent, that is. You can't speak Spanish, can they? Or you wouldn't be able to understand. I mean, you're lucky they speak English around the house. <laughs> eh, feliz Navidad, eh. Right. I'll get back into character now, because you put me off. Yeah, nachos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, Javier. Here is your Christmas present. They go, oh, what is he? What is he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. This Christmas, we're going on our holidays to London Town! Ah, oh, London Town! <laughs> London 2012 Olympic London! Yeah, London 2012 Olympic London, but we're going there in 2013 because it's cheaper. <laughs> I book us an apartment on the edge of the city. Every day we wake up and we have some breakfast, we get the train into town, we go to Buckingham Palace, we watch a show, you can stay up late every night, and then we get the last train back to our apartment in the city of London. Fucking London! Don't swear. <laughs> Good dad. Responsible. And when we get there, please don't speak in English because people will laugh in your face. <laughs> As it turns out, and these are the people who want to leave Europe because of Senor Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> On this train now, this nice little Spanish family who came to London because they watched the Olympics and all that bullshit we put out. We went, oh, London, yeah, we all are matching tracksuits and we help each other. Do come. <laughs> Now they're seeing the truth. They're on this train and they're going to go back to Spain, aren't they? And their friends are going to say, hey, how was your holiday in London? And they're going to go, let me tell you. <laughs> Something about London, yeah? <laughs> you get the train in London? Fuck me. <laughs> you get the train in London? Everybody she's puking and shitty. <laughs> crying, like, eh, I puke you. Don't worry, you puke me, I piss you. <laughs> You have to swim out of the fucking train. <laughs> and then their friends are going to say, Jesus, why was everybody so drunk? Was it a festival or something? And they're going to go, no, it was his sunshine. <laughs> they wake up in the morning, they say, I don't know what that is. I better drink until he's gone away. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best mime to have on the DVD, that is it. <laughs> The only time I hate, like, all of us with that just universality is when I watch Take Me Out. That's the only other time... <laughs> I just think we've ruined this. Whatever we had has gone now. There's, I mean, if you've never seen it, well done. What, <laughs> whatever you've done until now has been correct. It's basically, to sum it up, everything that's gone wrong with society since Blind Date. That's what it is. <laughs> Blind date, you had nice, it was just limited numbers, wasn't it, of nervous people, and you'd have Scylla come out, and she'd go, all right, everybody, and you'd have a little student here shitting himself like that. <laughs> so we'll go, now there's three girls over there, you go, girls, I know I can smell them. <laughs> <laughs> Never met one before now, right? She'd go, now the girls are over there behind the screen, so you can't judge them on their looks, that's key. So if you want to get to know about them, you've got to ask them a question, preferably the kind of question you'd never actually ask a human being in your life. <laughs> Never in the history of dating has someone walked up to someone at a bar and gone, God, I saw you over there and I just had to... Two martinis, please. I just had to know, I mean, if you were a fruit... <laughs> what fruit would you be? <laughs> but it was good enough for Blind Date. He'd ask that question. Um, 
she'd trot around, she'd ask the question of the girls like that, and he'd have three girls here, and they were gradually less nervous. That was the fun of it, wasn't it? They'd get cheekier, right? So the first girl's too nervous. She's just passed out on the floor. <laughs> Second girl's, you know, perfectly normal girl. She'd go, oh, I don't know, cherries. People like cherries. Oh, they've got a stone in. Oh, I don't know. Give me more time. She'd go, no, there's no time for that. Number three. Right, and number three's our favourite. She'd go, bananas. we go, way! <laughs> Because we knew what she meant, didn't she, right? Obviously, she hasn't said it because it's tea time and your nan's watching. <laughs> so that, can you? You could all enjoy the programme together then. Your nan could watch that and she'd go, oh, very good bananas, lots of potassium in bananas. <laughs> you would, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't ruin it for her, would you? You wouldn't go, oh, it's, yeah, no, she means dicks, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing to do with vitamin. If you imagine the shape, you see, up, that's why she said bananas. <laughs> And the reason you wouldn't say that is because obviously your nan knows exactly why she said bananas. Your nan's just a bit further on than you in terms of her denial at what society has become. <laughs> She's just pretending, do you know what? Maybe we're not talking about dicks at tea time. Because <laughs> the truth is, if you did say that to your nan, she'd go, oh, no, that's it. We couldn't get bananas in the war. You had to use carrots. Go, ah! It's just a better time, a time of innuendo and play. There was no sex on Blind Date, was there? It'd just get to the end and she'd go, do you want to pick one of the girls, love? It doesn't really matter because we've got you on as a joke and they're all going to be gutted when they see your face. <laughs> <laughs> and it shapes people, it shapes how you feel about dating. I grew up with that and I thought, that's from, you know, one day I too will appear from behind a wall and disappoint three women at once. <laughs> I don't need to have sex, we'll just have a game of Scrabble somewhere and we'll never see each other again. That'd be nice. Uh, now it's Take Me Out, which is just basically live shagging. Right, you're watching the bit where a man is... Uh, I mean, it's such a toxic programme, it has to be filmed underground, right? And we know it's filmed underground because the man is lowered in from the sky <laughs> in a lift, right? And he's some new toxic breed of bellend who, when he gets in a lift... <laughs> gets in a lift and hears music and starts fucking dancing to it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my name's Dean and I'm from Bradford and I think if I keep shouting that loud enough, I'm gonna get fucking lit. <laughs> he gets lowered into a pit and there's no screens, they just basically he goes, that one there, and they're, uh, not that one, no, uh, that one. Right. And then they get to the end and they go up these stairs here, supposedly to the Isle of Fernando's, but it doesn't exist, I've checked. <laughs> They just start shagging each other on the stairs, right? And a producer comes and pushes a button and they slide into a skip and they get wheeled away to make Finder's lasagnas. <laughs> Still need meat, don't they, Finder's? You've got to ask where they're getting it from. They're sexually <laughs> desperate, that's where. I thought, that'll be my destiny. That's how I'll meet a girl one day. I'll be walking past a hotel and they say, oh, you're here for the uh, cleaning convention, Mr Richardson? It's just downstairs. Press the button and I'll hear the music and I think, oh, shit. <laughs> Touche, Paddy. Here we go. 